go into a workforce and know that you're accepted for who you are. You shouldn't have to lie about who you are. You shouldn't have to hide, you know, who you are. And many people go into workforces feeling like they can't be themselves. I don't think that there is a secret to attracting and retaining. I think that it is being intentional about what your goals are. So if you want to attract a diverse market, you've got to go where diverse people are. You know, now, you know, you have diverse media and a lot of people don't advertise for employees on media the way they did back in the day, but there are so many websites that are focused on diverse professionals. And I would encourage people to go to those websites, intentionally look for diverse people or you know there are all kinds of associations uh all over the world right for there's the national society of black engineers you know or whatever whatever it may be they all have job boards so look for those diverse organizations and post your job on those job boards and as far as retaining them you've got to have an inclusive culture the worst thing you can do is bring in diverse people and the culture is not ready to accept those people so they feel like they don't belong they feel like they're they're ostracized so you want to make sure that you have put certain things in place within your culture that is going to help them to feel like they're a part of the team i think the first one is transparency it is so big i i think that a lot of companies do a really bad job especially when it comes to diversity and inclusion, they do a horrible job of letting people know that we want a diverse culture, this is why we want the culture, and this is what we're going to do to get it. A lot of times the way that it's presented, it makes people feel as if now we're going to bring in diverse people and, and people that are not diverse are going to lose their jobs and all of these things when if we would be transparent with our employees and teach them about diversity and inclusion, why it's important, why it's a great business move, then I think people would be more accepting. The other thing is I would say a culture needs radical acceptance. You wanna be able to go into a workforce and know that you're accepted for who you are. You shouldn't have to lie about who you are. You shouldn't have to hide you know, who you are. And many people go into workforces feeling like they can't be themselves. They can't wear their hair the way they want to. They can't uh, admit that they have a same-sex partner. So you have to radically accept who people are so that they feel like they're a part of that workforce. And if you can go in there, be in your full true self, you can go out there and crush those goals. Well, bias manifests in people, right? So because it manifests in people, you're there wherever you go. And so when you go to work, if you're not self-aware enough to understand that you have bias, then you're gonna project that onto people simply because, especially if we're talking about unconscious bias, right? That's the bias we don't know about. And I like to think of it as an unrecognizable part of our upbringing. You know, our parents teach us things that they feel will, will be helpful to us or they don't want us to get hurt or they don't want us to go through the same things that they went through. But a lot of times it introduces a us versus them concept. And once that happens, we go into the workplace and all of a sudden we have an issue with women because maybe somebody in our family told us bad things about women, maybe people of color, maybe LGBT people. But if we don't know that we are we are harboring these things, then we're gonna go in there and say things that are offensive. We're going to be hurtful. We're gonna throw those microaggressions around and, um, and truly make it a toxic environment. So it manifests within the person. And if you'll take the time to become self-aware of your biases, you can create a better work, a better work environment. Again, it's by being intentional. Um, I really think it's important to say why you're marketing to diverse individuals, right? I, I don't think there's anything wrong with being transparent and saying, you know what, we recognize how important diversity and inclusion is. Maybe we didn't in the past, maybe we haven't done everything well, but we know that we need to represent the community that we serve and the world is global now. And so if you truly wanna be a company that is, that is able to sustain, you're going to have to look at diverse people. 
you know, the world is not, it's not this thing of the world changing, it's already changed. And since we know that's what it is, we really have to beef that up. We really have to say, look, I want to do better in this area. I want to hire diverse people. Where are they at? And go out there and look at diverse media. Go look at those job boards I talked about earlier. Uh, go look at those websites that focus on diverse professionals and, and go out there and find them. And if you have diverse professionals already working for you, get referrals from them as well. That we all have work to do. No matter who you are, doesn't, doesn't matter, white, black, gay, whatever, we all have work to do. This is not about one group of people. Inclusion is about all of us. And I hope that people can walk away saying, wow, I didn't think about that. Or I'm, I'm thinking in a way that I haven't thought before. And mostly I want people to know that kindness goes a long way. And I know it really sounds elementary, even when I'm in the speeches and I'm like, kindness, you know, I, I feel like people are like, are you kidding me? Like we're not in fifth grade, but the reality is if we were being more kind, a lot of the things that people experience, they wouldn't experience if we could just um, put ourselves in somebody else's shoes and maybe try to understand um, what life is like for them. Yes, I have my new book. It's called Be Better Than Your BS. And I think all of us can be better than our BS. And I would love if anyone who sees this would go and pre-order it. You can go to my website, reshagrant.com and order this book. I would greatly appreciate it. And I think it would be a benefit to you and your company.